my name is Jessica and welcome back to Exploration Place. Today we're going to be talking about balanced and unbalanced forces. So I brought with me today this tennis ball, this ordinary tennis ball, and if I set it down on my table, it's not moving, right? However, that's because there's gravity that's pushing down on my tennis ball at the same time that the table is pushing back. So it's balanced and it's not moving. However, that's not very much fun. Can you think of a way that might make this more fun? A way that we can make our tennis ball unbalanced? Hmm, I read you loud and clear. Let's whack it with a pool noodle. Look, it disappeared. So obviously when I was adding more force to the top of the tennis ball, it became unbalanced and it moved away. Let's see if we can come up with another example of balanced and unbalanced forces. So you might see here that we have a simple game of tug of war. Now I had to bring two of my fellow scientists in, wonderful Ivy over here and Mr. Josh. <laughs> and as they're fighting, you can see that the flag is moving back and forth, but if they balance out on each side, the flag stays almost towards the middle. However, what do you think might happen if their forces become unbalanced? Well, you can see the flag will move back and forth, but let's make it exciting. They both fell backwards because by making the rope unbalanced, it changed their force and added more in one direction than they had in the opposite. So therefore, they fell to the ground. So today we talked about balanced and unbalanced forces. We looked at a tennis ball and how it changed when I added more force to the top of it, as well as how tug of war can be pretty fun when it's unbalanced and friends fall over. However, today we're gonna learn a little bit about something you might have in your own home, an air hockey table. Now with an air hockey table, it takes a puck, lifts it up off the surface with little bitty tiny holes, which make it almost frictionless as it travels across the surface. But here at Exploration Place, we decided that that wasn't big enough. So we decided to make a hoverboard. Now our hoverboard is taking air, pushing it down against the floor, making it unbalanced, and then we can fly across any room. So I want to encourage all of you before I go flying off on my hoverboard to try to find balanced and unbalanced things throughout your own house and see if you can come up with other ways to make things balanced or unbalanced. Thanks for visiting friends. Tune in again for more science lessons.